he said, you know, you should wear these glasses because they kind of match your shirt. And it was these yellow. Can you see those at all? This is, has the Jack and Diane. And they called me the hammer and the hunter. Can you see it okay? Uh, today we're going to play Rock and Tell with Kenny Aronoff. And uh, it's just like, you know, show and tell when you were in the first grade. Uh, let me drool over some of your cool gear, all right? This is all like... A-rated stuff, none of the X-rated stuff, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I only want the stuff that I'm breaking into your house and stealing. Don't show me any of the bull crap, all right? Show me the good stuff. I'm not paying for the cheap, uh, cheap fills here. Okay? All right, here's the money stuff. All right. So you said, this is this is typical of me. Okay, I wanted to show you a gold record or something, but I have 1,300 of them. All right, but I'm gonna pick the three. I'm gonna do three real quickies. All right. So I picked this first one because it's this is. This won millions of records, two Grammys. It's John Mellencamp, American Fool. And uh, this is just one of the 40 of them I have. And this is, has the Jack and Diane, you know, single on it. Can Hold it up higher. Ah! Can you see it all right? Oh, yeah, we can see it. I can see my reflection, too. <laughs> you look pretty good, right? All right, so that's... That's one. Now, the next one I picked is the first, the next number one hit single that I was on that had nothing to do with John Mellencamp. And I recorded here in LA. And I, it might have been the second session I ever did. It's a number one hit single. I went, kind of dig this. This is cool doing session. It's Belinda Carlisle, Heaven on Earth. Oh, baby, do you know what that's worth? <laughs> Can you see it okay? Heck yeah. Do, it, do another up. Uh, uh, scroll back up again one more time for me. I, I know this is a reflection. I, so sorry. It's okay. Wow. I, I, got I the, didn't know that. Belinda Carlisle. Yeah. I got the pod. I got, there's a picture of, she's hot, man. And that, yeah. She's smoking. Yep. Oh, there's okay. me right next the, to her. The third one is another number one hit. Single. This record, I thought there's no way you're going to be successful. This is a 10 minute song or 10 and a half minute song. I said, you're wasting your money, but I'll play, you know. It was number one in 20 countries in one week and sold over 40 million records today. Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell 2. I will do anything for love, but, but I, I won't, won't do, do that. that. Well, because I'm a lady. Uh, isn't, that great, oh, wow. isn't, that, isn't that a great cover? I mean, uh, does that look cool? That looks so cool. Wow, Kenny. Pretty yeah, amazing. So that's, now, that's I'm sorry, did you, did you say you have 1,300 gold records? If I had them all, it'd be 1,300 gold. Platinum and diamond. In America, diamond would be 10 million records sold. So there's this girl, I don't know if you remember her, Canadian artist, Amanda Marshall. She had she had a big, uh, oh, her record was so cool. She's one of the artists, the first record was monstrous. And so after that, she decided to get a different producer. And it didn't, you know, people do that sometimes. I say, if it's not broken, don't <laughs> fix it. So anyway, this record sold 10, went, diamond which would mean it's not 10 million i guess that might be only a million because different ratio of people but anyway yeah uh the diamond is 10 million records and so you were on that yeah i was on that oh kenny all right all right we are playing rock and tell right now it is our version of show and tell but with rock memorabilia kenny aronoff is my guest he has played with everyone from slash and cheap trick and heart uh to Willie Nelson and Keith Urban, and we just did round one of Rock and Tell. What else do you have? All right, well, I thought the cool thing would be this whole glass thing, you know? Yeah, how you got the this... best glasses in rock and roll. All right, how did this start? All right, I'm now, 1998, I am doing the Adore Tour with the Pumpkins. I am the Pumpkins, Smashing Pumpkins drummer, which is a big deal because I think people thought, Mellencamp's drummer with the Pumpkins? So anyway, I was about to go on stage, first show at the Metro in Chicago. It was a warm-up show before we head to Europe. And, and this tour, by the way, every show was a different country. And one show, we were in, one day we were in three countries. We had just played um, in Dublin, and all the YouTube people came the night before we got shit-faced with them. <laughs> we wake up the next morning, get on a private jet, 
fly to the Netherlands and do Pink Pop Festival, get on the plane and fly to Paris that night. Woo! I mean, that's the way we rolled. Anyway, the first show, I'm wearing a, like a black shirt like this with a, a, a yellow stripe here and a yellow stripe there. And my, my son, who might have been 14, 15, I don't know, maybe less, he said, you know, you should wear these glasses because they kind of match your shirt. And it was these yellow, can you see those at all? Yeah. Yellowy goggles. Here's the picture. It's kind of a picture of me with the pumpkins wearing them. Uh, can you see them? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. So this was, I'll, I'll do the uh, Clark Kent. This was the first. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. So here's the deal. Man, you look yellow. <laughs> So here's the deal. It's a virus. <laughs> COVID. This is COVID glasses. So I go on stage, and the next day, in the newspaper, Mel McCann's drummer kicking butt on the drums, glasses, 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 glasses. He wouldn't stop talking about the glasses. So I went, okay, I guess I'm wearing glasses. I'm and the so, glasses guy. And I got to show you this other pair. This is the craziest. I wore this on tour. <laughs> no, it's crazy. It's like cyborg. I wore this on tour in Italy for this monster stadium rock guy called Vasco de Rossi, Italian. And they called me the hammer and the hunter. I won't tell you why they called me the hunter, but I was the hammer too. And these glasses were like epic. The only thing is that they would get all foggy real easily. And it was like, I didn't, couldn't see anybody after a while. Right, right. So anyway, that became the glasses thing. And at one point I thought, dude, stop the glasses. You know, this is ridiculous. I took them off and so, somebody comes to a show and says, I drove five hours to see what glasses you were wearing. Yeah. I went, I'm wearing glasses. That's, yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. I love it. Yeah. Do any of the lead singers um, feel that the drummer's trying to upstage them? Like, do they think that you're trying to be too cool for school? I have no idea. <laughs> Screw them. <laughs> All right, we are doing uh, Rock and Tell with Kenny Aronoff. Uh, give me something else. What do you have at home? Okay, one of the coolest. I thought, you know, it used to be when you were on tour, you'd get a tour bonus at the end or you get some sort of present. And I'll tell you what, man, Mellencamp was always cool with what he gave us at tour. And this is an actual... Harley Davidson jacket. I mean, the real deal with the, with the, uh, you know, what do they call it? Kidney protector. Oh, yeah. And the back was, um, what's it say? It says American, no, it says John Cougar with a skull. All right, let's see it. Nice to it. Can you see that? Yeah, wow. American Fool, John Cougar. And then on the side, it's got a patch. Uh, what does that say? It says John Cougar, American Fool. It's like, you see that all right? Oh yeah, that looks great. I mean, this is a real, the, this is the real deal, a real Harley jacket. And everybody in the band, nobody's selling those things. Those are like classic. That's like one of a kind, you know, that, yeah. Oh, you know what I was gonna show you, charts. I am famous for writing charts out, very detailed. I have them in the other room. I can always go get them for you, but I have one more bonus thing for you. Okay, I'll take a bonus, uh, Rock and Tell. What else do you got? All right, so I don't know, how, this is extraordinary. So I did uh, a Mick Jagger record. I actually did two Mick Jagger records. And uh, there was actually, uh, it was me overdubbing drums and uh, Mick actually, after we had a dinner break and I'm sitting right next to Mick and, and um, he goes, hey, um, could you come back tomorrow and play more? I had to say no. You know why? Why? I feel, oh man, I feel like I was saying no to my dad or somebody. I had to get on a jet and fly all night to Italy to play with that Vasco Rossi guy. Oh. I was so bummed out. I'm like, yeah. no. And then he asked me, who are you going to play with, Vasco Rossi? And I, apparently he knew exactly who Vasco was. Okay. There's a story, and I won't say what it is, but <laughs> it. Anyway, so Mick, Probably for another session. Yes, that's the one where you and I have coffee and tea and wine together. So Mick sends me. I'm on this record, and there's a note with it. With best wishes, Mick Jagger. Wow. 
Isn't that cool? I mean, nobody yeah. does that. Nobody does that. And there's another one here uh, from Willie Nelson. It's a Willie Nelson record I, I made. And I don't know if you can read that. Can you read that? All right, let's see. It says, Dear Kenny, thanks for working so hard and for keeping uh, keeping so great or being so great in New York. Ooh la la. I love uh, picking with you. Playing, picking, picking with you, I guess. Yep. Let's do it again. Love, Willie. All right, Kenny, thank you so much for hanging out today. Awesome. I really appreciate it. Be safe, all right? All right. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Thanks for watching Access TV. Subscribe, follow, like, and do all the good stuff. And make sure you leave a comment below. I don't know, just let us know what your favorite Access TV show is or who your favorite bands are and what artists you're into or just say hi, man. I'd like to be told hi. We love hearing from you. That's the point, all right? Keep it coming.